Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday. I'm home from work. I'm about to wash the dishes from last night because everyone else went to work and we didn't do it last night. Oh, and my mom is in town. Let's never see my mom, I know, because she doesn't like to be on social media. And out of respect, I won't show her on the videos. She'll talk in the background or she'll wave or something like that. But she's actually not here at the moment because she went to run some errands. So yeah, I have my mom here until Saturday. So right now I'm just gonna clean up the kitchen. It's not that bad, but. checking an order I ordered something off of Macari and I didn't expect it until this weekend but it said that the shipment is out for delivery and that is actually a phone case cover because I don't know if you guys remember when I got this one I told you I go back and forth to liking a case like this where you could put your cards in it and then this little zip part here like next one that I'm getting is just a regular phone case let me see nope is that, is that the one hold on you guys did I click on the right button yeah today's October 8th the shipment is out for delivery okay and it's a sunflower phone case it looks cute I mean I'll show you guys when I get it because the picture may not do it justice so I'll show you guys when I get that and then I also ordered a record let's see tracking on that all right that one is waiting to be shipped so tracking hasn't updated on that yet from Amazon so remember how when I went to about to say Disneyland I didn't go to Disneyland when I went to downtown Disney the last time I showed you guys the tea that I bought well they were out of the honey spoons so on Amazon I found the honey spoons the kind that they have at Disney and I ordered them and it's going to be here next week and also ordered a few things so yeah just waiting on my order today you guys and I can show you my phone case when it gets here also, I forgot to tell you guys this. So, remember how we are planning on getting another dog and I told you guys that there is another dog that we can possibly get? They had to, I don't know how much I told you about him. They gave him a name, but he doesn't answer to it. They just gave him a name. So, if we do get him, we may change his name because he doesn't answer to the name that they have. They found him wandering around where like the fires are and they gave owners time to see if they would, someone would claim him. He's not chipped or anything like that. They said he's a really good dog. He listens and his personality is just like so awesome. Whatever, he's housebroken. He's an older dog and yeah, so they actually vetted him. He had all his shots and everything like that. And then they took him to the doggy dentist and he had a couple of teeth removed. So he is having his stitches taken out, I think early next week. And next Friday, we are actually going to go meet him and take Boston with us because Boston is going to be the deciding factor whether we get this dog or not, which I get it. I totally get it. But at the same time, if we go there and Boston's acting all, I don't know. I don't know how he will act around another dog. He's not really around other dogs. He's around us. When we go out and we take him for a walk, you know, he's like a normal dog. He sees a dog and he'll go to it and bark, whatever. But I don't know how he'll react. So, I mean, I get that they want to get they want the dogs to get along and everything but it's gonna have to be something that I don't know I just don't want I get the reason why they want us to bring him but at the same time it's like 
that shouldn't be the only factor because we can gradually get them used to each other, keep them out of each other's space or whatever, or just create an environment that way they both feel comfortable, especially Boston because it's his territory or whatever. Oh, and you guys, so on Instagram, I asked you guys, how do you get dogs used to each other or whatever like that that I asked? And I got an overwhelming amount of DMs. Thank you guys for your suggestions. Trust me, everything has helped. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Show My Life. But I'm going to ask here as well, if you guys have more than one dog and you guys brought the second dog in, how do you make, I don't want to say make them get along, but make them get along. Have the dog that you guys have had first, like, you know, us with Boston, make them feel that, they're still loved and cared about and just for everything to go as planned. I read a few things that said when you get another dog, if they fight, let them fight it out. And then I read another thing that said if they fight, break them up, but then be careful of your fingers. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't agree with letting them fight it, fight it out. Yeah, I know in dog packs they have to form the hierarchy who's going to be alpha dog I don't know whatever but at the same time you don't want them hurting each other so I don't want them fighting at all yeah I understand they're probably just gonna be like siblings and get into it every now and then I don't know but I don't want them biting each other and fighting so I don't I'm, I'm probably just thinking of extreme but yeah if you guys the ones that didn't answer on um, Instagram you guys hear, uh, how do you have your dogs get along when you bring a new one into the home? How did you do it? First, I, I know we're gonna, I know I put the other food tray by Boston's. We may actually move that one just in case they have an issue. I don't know, but yeah. So anyway, next Friday we will go meet Chipper. Hopefully Boston doesn't try to attack him or Boston, hopefully just Boston's just cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, and we don't necessarily have to get a dog from this particular place. I mean, I could go somewhere else and just bring it in. And that's what I kind of rather do. The power went out for like, not even three seconds. If you blink, you would have missed it. One thing that sucks, first world problems, one thing that sucks about having smart TVs is they're all connected to Wi-Fi. And when your power is out, or when the power goes out and comes back on, you have to wait till it reboots and everything. So I'm just waiting until everything reboots. So I just checked the mail and I got my ballot. I am going to fill it out and drop it off. And of course you guys, I'm covering up my address and whatever. But yeah, Savannah got her first one. And I don't know, I don't remember if this is Cheyenne's second. Um, time voting or if this is her first yeah I'm gonna fill this out and make sure I vote and you guys if you follow me on snapchat or on Instagram or both you already know what party I'm voting for so also I wanted to show you guys the phone case that I got in the mail this is what I ordered off Macari it says life is beautiful and it has a cute sunflower I know the glare you guys can really can't see but yeah, it's, I think it's super cute. And it came with a lanyard, but I probably won't use this. So, yeah, but I'm happy. I think it's super cute. I love square phone cases, you guys. I don't know, I just do. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday, and I'm just now getting up. I'm about to get in the shower and get dressed. Later on, we are going to... So, do you guys remember when our church has like a marriage function, our family volunteers to watch a couple in the church kids. They have five kids, um, but we watch their kids when they go to um, married couple fun functions. So anyway, one of their kids today is turning, is she turning two or three? I should know this because she's like my favorite little baby. Going to her birthday party today. So I finished watching The Haunting of Bly Manor in one day. 
one day you guys it was so good it was different than the first one um not a whole lot of jump scares it was more suspenseful than scary i still liked it but as far as scariness factor the first one was better return to hill house or hunting of hill house so yeah but right now i am watching the parkers because i love that show so yeah. savannah made a vegan meal tonight and i did a separate video for that so that'll probably be up before this one or after i don't know but anyway she did a really good job she made vegan noodles vegan noodle soup and it was so good she said she was nervous because she didn't know how you know we would react or whatever like that but i wasn't lying it was really good and the broth that she made and it was very very tasty and we're requesting it again so we we are going to have her make that again so yeah you guys that's pretty much it that all that i've done today um i know i didn't vlog at the birthday party but i don't want to put everyone on YouTube especially other people's kids or whatever if they don't even know they're being filmed So yeah, I'm just sitting here watching the Parkers and My mom is not here. My mom is actually Does everybody how good I did? Yes, I did I did amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Yes, your battery's dying. I know but you still have a little bit before it dies She did a really good job and I Thanks. told them that we're requesting it again Thanks Yes. Oh, and she also got vegan cookies to make. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do that tonight or tomorrow? Yeah, later on tonight. Yeah, later on because I'm full. It was really good. It, it feels good to be full on healthy stuff and not feeling like, okay, it's blurry. As Savannah calls it, the meat sweats. <laughs> <laughs> We're blurry. So today is... I don't even know what today is. We are at Loving Hut. We are getting some vegan food. Everything in here is completely vegan. And Savannah got some vegan jerky. She's so excited that she found a restaurant that is close that has vegan food. And on the wall, it just shows like celebrities that are vegan. And of course, it's only open right now for takeout, but the place is really super cute. Nice and clean too. So this is the vegetarian meal that I got. Barbecue, yeah, barbecue vermicelli. I always say that wrong. And then Savannah and I are going to share this as well. This is soy, like fried shrimp. And he's, he said that was spicy. And I guess this is the soy sauce or whatever. This right here is if I can try to do it with one hand thank you Savannah nope. oh I'm so stupid it goes inside he said that too yeah he did this is the oh. vegan cheesecake so everything like everything in there was vegan oh, or I is got. vegan and, and got Savannah a, um, got soup I got a wonton noodle soup okay I can't with that it's hot it's filling oh look at her shirt you guys she got it from Hot Topic when we went to LA, and it's Freddy Krueger, if you guys didn't realize that. Um, I got um, wonton noodle soup. Right. <laughs> there you go, open it up the wrong, the I incorrect way too. as well. Did you break it? Uh, no, just open it, just pull it. It's not that simple. Okay, you want me to do it's it for you? It's not that simple. Okay, I'll hold the camera, you do it. Anyway, mm. that's work. Ooh, that looks good. And open this one. And this, what's what is this? It's like orange chicken? Yeah. It's like soy something, and then that's just the base of it. Got these. It's not focusing. Okay, it's vegan jerky. You can pause it and read hey, that. Hey, Boston. Say hey to everybody. Say hi. It's just Boston and I right now, you guys. He has a grooming appointment. It is Thursday, it's after work, and I'm going to drop him off so he can get cut, finally. Are you ready for your bath, Boston? So he probably won't be able to get the Cocker Spaniel cut that we normally like to get him because he hasn't been in a while because of COVID. He probably will look like a little rat when we pick him up, so we'll see. All right, Boston, wait a minute, let me get your, let me get you. 
All right, let's go. Let's go. Where are you going? Austin. This way. This way. He's on the other side of me, okay? My hands are full. There we go. I think he has the nervous piece sometimes. All right, let's go over here. I'm gonna have to start keeping some masks in a baggie in my purse. I have them in my car, but a few times now, I have gotten out the car and forgot my mask. So I go in the first time. I'm out of breath and sweating because I really much, pretty much had to pick up Boston and he was jumping on my legs. He didn't want to go with her, and which is how he usually acts when he comes here. Anyway, so the first time I went in, I go on with him and I'm wondering like, why are all these people looking at me weird? Like, you know, I'm just bringing my dog in a place where a dog can go. And so it wasn't until I got to the back that I realized, oh my goodness, I forgot my mask. And I knew I didn't have any in my purse. So I go in and I asked the lady once again doing this and I stood back, I said, you know, his appointment is at four, it's four. I forgot my mask in the car. I will go back and get it. And she's like, no, it's okay. I said, no, I know you'll feel com more comfortable if I had my mask on, whatever. So then I came out to the car and got my mask. But I said all that to say that I am going to start keeping some mask in my purse because this is not the first time I've done this. And that way I won't have to worry about this again. So yeah you guys all right let's go home she said about three to four hours but it's four o'clock it closed at 7 30 she said and they'll be done before that i probably in an hour and a half i'll get a phone call that said he says he's done all right let me let her in because i'm parked really close to her car hey boston i just wanted to show you guys what he look like now he's he looks really skinny when he's groomed let me turn on the light He's probably like, don't bug me, I'm eating. Hey, hey, Boston. Look at this wiggle butt. Hey. All right, let me leave him alone so he can eat.